Hokey dokey. In this problem, we are given a function x and a function r, and they ask us to find dx over dv when v is equal to 1.9. So to simplify this process here, what we need to do is construct a function with an inside and an outside layer, and they're kind of giving us the different layers here. So we need to construct them into a single function x, then take the derivative using chain rule, then plug in whatever value they tell us to. So the process for this one will always be taking the second function and plugging it in to the variable in the first function. And it'll always work out that this variable matches this variable. And so it allows us to make that substitution. So when we make that substitution, in this case, we will have x is equal to not e to the r, but instead e to the sine of v. So because we plugged one function into the other, this function r that we plugged into the other function naturally becomes our inside function, which makes e to the r basically our outside function. So let's find the derivative x prime, which is equivalent now to dx over dv, what we're looking for. Because when we find the derivative of this, the only variable we see is v. So this function x is in terms of v. So when we find the derivative of x in terms of v, we have dx over dv. So let's start with the outside layer. The outside layer is e to the something. The derivative of e to the something is e to that same something. That's a nice trick. Whenever you see e raised to some exponent, you should see that same exact e term in your derivative. All right, that's the first part. Derivative of the outside, e to the sine of e. Now, what's the derivative of the inside? What is the inside? We said the inside piece was sine of e. So, the derivative, derivative of sine of e is cosine of v. And that's it. This is dx over dv, so now we just need to plug in 1.9. Let's open up Desmos, get rid of that. All right, e to the sine of v, we'll do, uh, let's do this, e raised to the sine of v, which was 1.9. And then multiplied by the cosine of 1.9. And then that is negative 0.83 looks like option D. Break out the eraser to see that D is our answer. So again, always plug the second function into the first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Find the derivative using chain rule. Plug in the value. Let's go and do two more examples. This function is being plugged into the R there. So we have the function V can be rewritten as 5 to the X raised to the sixth. When taking the derivative, we are naturally finding v prime or dv over dx. And then we'll plug in the 0.6. So taking care of the outside piece first, the 6, bring the 6 down, leave the inside the same. Remember, whatever we plugged in to the other function, this one naturally is our inside function every single time. So that's why I start with the outside, the 6, leaving the inside function the exact same when I go about that. So then the inside function is 5 to the x, so the derivative of 5 to the x, which we will multiply this by now, is 5 to the x times the natural log of 5. This is our whole derivative, so now we just plug in 0 0.6. 6 times 5 to the 0.6 raised to the fifth. Did I get that right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. And then all multiplied by five to the point six times the natural log of five. So we get 3170. Looks like option A. We break out the eraser to see that A is our answer. All right, let's go and do one more. <clears throat> In this case, we have cosine of v being plugged into this v. So we have the function t is not v to the seventh, 
but instead let's do two different colors cosine of s to the seventh so starting with the outside layer we will do t prime or dt over d s the outside layer the seven comes out in front and then the exponent becomes a six and again the inside layer stays the same when we find the derivative of the outside so that's the outside derivative then we multiply by the derivative of the inside the inside is cosine of s which has a derivative of negative sine of s this is our derivative so we plug in 0 0.6 here seven times cosine of let's really look at the number 0.6 Cosine of 0 0.6, close, close, all raised to the 6th power, yep. And then times the negative sign. Negative sine of 0 0.6. That'll give us negative 1.25. Looks like option B. Let's break out the eraser to see that B is our answer. So again, second function plugged into the first, taking the derivative of the outside and inside piece. The inside piece is always the second function. And then once you have these derivative, derivatives of the outside and inside multiplied together, you have your final derivative. So then it's just plugging in that value that they give you. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.